Christina Crawford, and this is Entertainment Northwest, a weekly show devoted to bringing you news, entertainment, and behind the scenes peek at what's new in your area. Let me introduce you to our neighborhood. Behind me is our station, Retro Television Network, RTN 24, Spokane. Next door is the Inlander, and across the river is the Veterans Memorial Arena and Star Theater. A little ways down the road is the INB Performing Arts Center, and about two blocks south of where I'm standing is the Bing Crosby Theater, Big Easy, and the gorgeous new Fox Theater. In Idaho, where I live, there are festivals, theaters, musical theater, and clubs showcasing local musicians and regional bands. So let's go inside and see what's new for this week. I'm Christina Crawford, and this is Entertainment Northwest. Welcome back. Well, this week is the long-awaited reopening of the Fox Theater, and they have a four-day gala event planned. Four days. November 17th is the grand opening with the Spokane Symphony. November 18th is Community Day, and that's with tickets. November 19th, oh, the legendary Tony Bennett. Who wouldn't want to see him? He's just the best. And November 20th, Too Slim and the Tail Draggers with Tim Langford. Now we have a real treat in store for you viewers. We have Too Slim and the Tail Draggers coming right in here to the studio, to the station for this show. So you're going to have a preview of one of the shows of the Fox Grand Opening. That is really special. I am really pleased. Uh, Northern Quest has Cheap Trick. That is November 18th. And this is a kind of a special show. On November 23rd, Mark Hummel's Blues Harmonic Blowout. Now that is going to be at the Mirabu Park Hotel. And it's at 8 o'clock. Tickets are still available. That should be a good, fun show. Season tickets for skiing uh, are at all the ticket outlets and the slopes, so have a good, safe, happy ski season. Now don't go away, we're going to be right back with an interview. Thanks to West Coast Entertainment, we're going backstage at the INB. We're going to interview Suzanne Soul, who has starred in films and television and is the star in the touring company of Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, playing the role of Muriel Eubanks. Suzanne is graciously going to give us a tour of her costumes. Hi there. Um, we're backstage at Dirty Rotten Scoundrels looking at my costumes. Um, this, the costumes were designed by Greg Barnes, like I said, they're from the original Broadway production, and if, they're just absolutely gorgeous. This is a costume that she wears when, um, she's in the Abbey doing, uh, some impromptu, uh, tour guide activity she's thrown, her, thrown herself into. <laughs> she decided she was a tour guide. My character decides a lot of things. Um, this is one of my faves. This is her camouflage. Uh, she's very uh, involved in wanting to help the mission of the prince, or so who so she believes is a prince. And uh, so this is her resistance costume. Yes, you can tell she probably had a design right there and then. And this, of course, well, it's a robe. Now, here is my favorite, sorry. Burberry, people. Burberry, Burberry of London. And this is for when she's leaving, going back to the uh, States in the airport. And the skirt, of course, is Burberry as well. As you can tell, has the Burberry fancy part. Now, this is an added 
uh, costume that I wear at the opening in the casino. Um, we changed the costume. This is not Greg Barnes' work. Um, but we felt it had that kind of Lucy feel, that um, goofiness that, that they wanted to get out of this character that I play. So, um, there, you know, it does. It has that I love Lucy feel, yes? <laughs> and that's the door. I hope you enjoyed it. My guest today is Willie Lampe, the Recycling Foundation for Washington State. Thank you so much for joining us. And you were very instrumental in bringing Too Slim and the Tails Draggers to Annie Fanny's this past weekend, right? Thank you for having me here, Christina. And yes, this is uh, the band's third year working for our annual fundraiser. And we really appreciate it. Appreciate having Slim and the boys. They do a great job for us. That's wonderful because uh, Tim Langford is originally from Spokane, isn't he? Yes, he is, coincidentally. Yes. And the next time Spokane is going to see this wonderful group, other than on our show today, is the grand opening of the Fox Theater, which we talked about earlier in the show. So uh, without further ado, we're going to introduce Too Slim and the Tail Draggers. Load up the truck and go down to Mexico. 